Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. I, I normally do more than a couple of wines in a video, but I've had these two, two roses hanging around for uh, quite a while, and I've been waiting for other wines to come and say, come and join our party, come and... No, no one wanted to come and join them, so I uh, thought I'd better dig into them now. Um, I've got a Bordeaux one, and I've got a Portuguese one. So, first one I've got here, Chateau de Sor, Bordeaux Rosé, 2011. I think the blend here is mostly Merlot and uh, with a bit of Cabernet Franc to give it a little bit of zip and uh, fragrance. Or oh, that's the theory. Let's see whether it works. Well, once upon a time, someone dubbed this, actually, what was it, probably the best rosé in the world. Um, and as soon as someone saddles you with a moniker like that, uh, then it's a struggle to live up to it. I stick my nose in here, and I wouldn't say it were the best rosé in the world. Um, it feels like there's a bit of awkwardness going on here. I don't know whether it's because uh, uh, it's it's quite young. I mean, we're in uh, just at the start of April now, This is so it's only a few months old. Uh, but I get this sulfury, uh, and it's something that's bound in. It doesn't feel like it, it, it wants to come out of its shell. I'm very willing to be proved wrong and for it later on to suddenly come out to play and go hello here I am but at the moment it seems a bit dumb and he has got okay fruit he's got this uh, bit of um, it's almost like a um, bit of citrus um, and a bit of uh, red berry a bit of raspberry and uh, maybe something like lemon um, but there's a sharpness about it and uh, I'm almost wanting uh, it, it doesn't seem to quite know what it wants to be there's uh, there's a fullness and roundness about it from the Merlot, uh, but then this uh, this this quite sour character on the finish, uh, and it, as I say, maybe as it opens up, um, it, it it gets better and better. But at the moment, it's looking a bit sulky, and it does open up. It does. Um, to sort of flesh out and uh, so yeah I'll keep an eye on that and, and report back. Next one, uh, we are in Portugal, whereabouts so it's Tejo, um, so um, this uh, yeah used the region that uh, once upon a time this would have been labelled uh, Riba Tejo, um, the banks of the Tejo as opposed to Alentejo which means on the other side of uh, the Tejo and it's called Tagus Creek, Tagus is the Latin for Tejo which is Tagus, is, the Tejo is the river that comes out at, uh, at Lisbon I think. Grapes here, Shiraz and Torrega Nacional and it it's a year older. And this is a softer, sweeter um, style of rosé. If the, maybe if that one is is, is uh, veering towards the uh, the Provence style, this is the, this one is almost uh, wants to be. I mean, I've seen Bardolinos with uh, with less colour than that. Um, it's it's a juicier New World style. Feels like it's going to have. Uh, it's probably got a bit more alcohol. Probably got lower acidity. And it's a year older, so it, it, it's got that softness. It's from a warmer climate, so it's got that softness. Um, is softer necessarily better? Let's have a see. A bit of spice, bit of berry, juicy fruit. Maybe the first one wants to be a white wine, this wants to be a red wine. Um, and uh, yes, a bit of chewy tannin on the finish. Um, I I almost wonder whether they've just gone a little bit too much and done a little bit too much extraction. And uh, uh, it's, it's okay. I want a little bit more uh, gentleness and daintiness in my rosé. And I think, they, I think the Chateau de Sore has probably got it. Um, uh, and, um, and so, but but uh, that, that's that weird, awkward edge that I really can't get my head around at the moment. Um, so not a great set of uh, of roses. Uh, and of course, what will happen is as soon as I've tried these, uh, I'll uh, I'll get up tomorrow, and the postman will be bringing some other stuff as well. So um, have to wait for another video for a rosé that I really want to go woo 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 about. In the meantime, I'll just um, sit and contemplate, and I will see you soon.